Blood, sweat, tears, and the stench of burning bodies accompanied us on our way east. And it was not long before my fears came true. Barely had we crossed into the kingdom of Subartu, when our people took up arms in rebellion. After years of grandiose campaigns, they were sick of the exorbitant taxes that Sargon levied to fund his wars. When I shared the bad news with Sargon, I hoped that he would see reason and accept that he had taken things too far. But the hateful glare in his eyes suggested the opposite. A new... Dawns. Conquer the monuments of the past and carve my name on them. The name of your god, Sargon. Hello, Alamas. Tell us how to eat, keep or tie, Yuri. Alamas, keep or tie, Yuri. Alamas, Alamas, Alamas. Um, we will follow you, your majesty, uh, your divinity. Mm -hmm. 
Captured a monolith. Alamas. I deeply regret having to bring your divinity bad news. But soldiers from our very own ranks are revolting and have taken control of some villages. We have captured a monolith. will no longer cause us any difficulties and will stand by our side faithfully again. Hey, but 
Another village is ours again. In gratitude, its residents kneel in the dust to pay homage to Sargon. Sargon, we have been wandering the desert for weeks and have run out of food and water. Feed us and we will make you our lord. This village will no longer cause us any difficulties and will stand by our side faithfully again. We have captured a monolith. Another village is ours again. In gratitude, its residents kneel in the dust to pay homage to Sargon. Self deification, Sargon, as you bring great misfortune upon us. Ah, ah, you little profane fools. 
Soldiers, slay the wicked Hurrians who dare to sully the name of their god. Pillai, Rogue, Alamas, Umbus. Umbus. We have lost control of some of the monoliths. The rebel scum are defeated. Their unwillingness to accept their fate is We have captured a monolith. We have lost control of some of the monoliths. Hello, we have captured a monolith. Mighty Sargon, we beg you, hear us, save us from our distress.
Grogan. Oh. Bombus. Oklama. Bombus. have lost control of some of the monoliths. Hmm. Logan? We have captured a monolith. lost control of some of the monoliths. A monolith. on this. Alamas. Ebert. Alamas. Alamas. On this. We have captured a monolith. Never forget your mercy, Sargon. Anyone who besmirches your name will be held accountable by us.
some of the monoliths. We have captured a monolith. We have lost control of some of the monoliths. We have captured a monolith. We have lost control of some of the monoliths.
the monolith. We have lost control of some of the monoliths. We have captured a monolith. Mesopotamia is not enough. The divine realm of Sargon will continue to grow. I shall walk the ruins of Sabartu, and its people will kneel before me. We have lost control of some of the monoliths. Can a mortal being of flesh and blood become a god? The answer is no. No matter how much power a man attains, 
Anyone who towers too far above others is doomed to fall in the end. Sargon was the king of kings, the most powerful man that had ever walked the earth. His empire, the first that mankind had ever seen. In the temples, Sargon had replaced the statues of the gods with statues of himself. And now, truly believe that he was divine. Yet I had seen him bleed. I sought him out after the sack of Subartu, only to find him standing atop a mountain of gold and corpses, precious stones passing through his fingers. He did not listen when I told him that this madness had to end. Once, I left my sword in its scabbard to spare the man who would be my king. But things were different this time. This was no man standing in front of me. No deity. It was an evil demon from the underworld, striding the earth to claim the souls of the innocent. I then remembered the prophetic words. The blood of the innocent will be paid for by the blood of the one. I plunged my blade deep into Sargon's chest. As he stared at me with wide eyes, a strange, wicked smile appeared on his face. Even in the face of death, Sargon never ceased believing in his own immortality. I have no such delusions. As old age withers my once supple frame, I welcome the journey to the afterlife. Satisfied that no more innocent blood will be spilled in the name of this false god. Yet, I fear Sargon's legacy. The vices of power and a desire for divinity can inspire grim changes in even the most noble of men. I can only pray that for every haughty Sargon, there will be a humble Ushar, guided not by delusions of grandeur, but by a simple conscience of what is right and what is wrong.